Hey everyone, uh, my name is Eric, and today is Monday, May 2nd, 2016. I hope you're all doing fantastic today, or tonight rather. It is 9.55 in Brooklyn. Um, right, so today I want to teach you how to, um, well kind of teach you the way that I do it, um, how my workflow works when I go through um, uh, setting up my drums this, this is pertaining to basically any drums, software instrument, instruments that I use um, in my recording. So I usually start off with uh, the drums as far as my songwriting is concerned. Um, and I'm just going to take you through that. So let's get started. All right. Um, so I'm using Logic. You can use any DAW. Um, Logic is my choice, so hopefully we're on the same page with that. Um, basically, the principles apply to nearly every DAW. So, um, yeah, if you found my tutorials, I guarantee you're going to find other tutorials and uh, how you can s solve your problems. All right, enough talking. Let's get into it. So, uh, first things first, add a new track. Um, uh, software instrument track, which I've already done. Go ahead and do that. Then apply your favorite drums. I'm going to be using um, Superior Drummer. You can also use, let's see what else I have. Um, you could use regular Drummer from Logic. You could also use, um, what do I have here? Um, I could use, what else do I have? Um, Tune Track. Uh, superior drummer. I could use addictive drums one or two. Just make sure you, whenever you do this, use multi output um, on each one of these. So I'll just set up both. Um, and on, in fact, I'll go one step further uh, and I will set up all three uh, Logic's native drummer, uh, tune track, and superior drummer. So, I mean, uh, I said that all wrong. Anyways, you get the point. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see, let's set up this one as well. New track, drummer track. Okay, so for this one, to get multi out, to get multi out on the Logic Pro native drummer, um, you simply go into your library and you say producer kits and you say something like, well, I don't know, what is it right now? It's Bluebird. Let's just stick with the Bluebird. And so what that gives you is a track stack with all the different drums. And so you can multi and add effects to all these. You can pan them. You can... Uh, add compression, dynamics, processing, anything you would like. And that's how it works. Um, so that's that. All right, so we got three sets. We got drums. We got, what is this? This is uh, superior, superior drummer. I can't spell. And this is uh, addictive drums. And the other one is logic's drummer. Logic drummer. Okay, so the point is, is all three of these are going to work the same way. So we got tune track. I'm, yeah, this is tune track. We got superior drummer, um, which sounds like this. And what we don't have is multi out. So let's go ahead and do all three of these multi out. So, um, First thing is first, you want to go up to the Mixer tab. And you want to click on the first one. And you could do this a couple ways. The first way you could do it is you could say multi-channel. And that would automatically map all of these to individual channels. And which gives you the little plus icon in the Mixer window. You can click on the plus icon in the Mixer window. Just click on it a bunch of times. Let me get this up here so you can see everything. And what that did is it created multi-tracks. So when I hit play, I should see different individual instruments, drum instruments, from Superior Drummer, 
on here. Let's try that. Right, and we do. So that's that. Now, what I like to do is map them out individually, uh, a little bit differently actually. So for instance, so I have the kick in, kick out, kick sub, all three of those I can keep on the same channel which they are, which is channels one and two, which renders down into this one. So if I solo that, I get this. Okay. Now, what I see here is for the snare, top, snare, bottom, it's on two different, cha two different channels. And I don't want that. I'm going to put these all on sequentially. Three and four. Three and four. And then the hi-hat, five and six. Toms individually now. Let's go. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then now we're dealing with overheads. So you guessed it, 17, 18. And then the ambient room mics, I like to put all in one channel. So I just select those, say um, 19, 20, is that right? 18, 19, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Which gives us this. Now, there is no toms being played right now, but um, you can also see that Let me just turn that down a little bit. Okay, so you can also see that all of the drums coming out in individual tra tracks, although we don't need tracks 25 through 30, so I can just delete those. And I can say, yes, delete anyways. Or I could cancel that and hit the minus button. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And now we can go through, we can even, we can even, uh, I'll just shut this off. Bring the volume back up. And we can also just go through and just label these real quick. So kick, snare, hat. Tom one, Tom two, whoop, Tom three, Tom four, Tom five, overhead, and room. All right, so that's a that's superior drummers multi-tracking, and we'll get into leveling and things like that because obviously the levels by default are way too hot according to digital um, Unity. I guess for you know so digital signals we want to have around minus 18 dB, um, and we'll sh I'll show you what that's like in probably a different tutorial. I think it's definitely um, something that I've learned personally that really really matters in the last couple of years. I've really learned about um, the uh, tracking levels and and mixing levels and and gain staging and all these things it's it's incredibly important um you'll hear this from everyone uh, it's something i overlook for most of my songwriting and recording uh but i want you to understand that it's very important anyway so let's have a listen to superior drummer real quick um and i'll go ahead and just pan something now i won't pan i'll just go ahead and let you listen for a few seconds get the idea. All right, so let's move on to the other one, addictive drums. Addictive drums are basically all the same thing. So the one thing you don't get, which I don't really like, is in 
Logic Drummer, you get track stacks, which are really nice to kind of hide. And Addictive Drums and um, and um, Superior Drummer, you don't you don't necessarily get that. You get um, individual tracks down here, but they're sort of like virtual tracks. Um, they sound the same. They're basically on auxes, auxiliaries, but I don't know. They they did. I, I don't like the the management. I I like this because you can manage it and then toggle them on and off. Anyways, maybe we'll have fit. Maybe uh, Logic will fix that one day. Anyways, uh, so let's do the same with Addictive Drums. So let's open up Addictive Drums. Let's select a kit. That let's just play it quick. Okay, sounds pretty good. But let's put these on individual tracks. Um, so how we do that is we hold Command and we click this arrow. And I do pre-fader. You could do post or pre. It just determines the amount of um, processing and everything that happens. Uh, basically, I like to go through and keep all of these at Unity and then do the level management and things like that inside of my DAW. Um, in this case, logic. So all of these are already mapped by just doing that. I do the same, command click to the overhead and the room, and the same thing, command, well, you don't have to hit command. Command is just for the multiple, multiple select. And there you go. So now all of these are mapped. If I solo just the kick and hit play, Okay, so they're all, it's individually mapped and you can only hear the kick, some bleed in there. The one thing we don't have though is we didn't hit the plus button down here. So let's do that, which will create the virtual tracks for the individual instruments. So click that a few times and it'll automatically create mono tracks and a couple of stereo tracks towards the end. And you can see the stereo tracks, everything aligns here, aligns here. So we have, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten individual mono tracks and three uh, stereo tracks. So you can do the same thing. So now that we're mapped, um, this one's a little bit easier to map because you have kick on the first. Actually, no, you don't. You have addictive drums. This is basically the master output. Uh, drums. Okay, so we just call it 80 drums. So let's begin. Individual, we have kick, snare, hi-hat, uh, tom one, tom two, tom three, tom four. And then we have these um, basically assignable uh, flex flexi modes where you can trigger drums or anything I want for instance every time I hit the click kick it's gonna trigger claps kinda cool um, you can do the same with snare so anywhere there's this little icon up here you can do that with so I can go here well, I think I need an instrument first. Let's get something like one of these. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, you could do the link to the snare, link to the kick. In this case, I'm going to link the snare. And you can turn down the volume just slightly. In fact, let's not do it there. Let's finish where I was. So we have flexi. <clears throat> One, flexi, two, flexi, three, I don't think that's value in that one, flexi, uh, two, and we have overhead, overhead, and we have room, and we have, I always do D bus as drum bus, but I really don't ever use the drum bus in this because it's kind of redundant. 
Um, I don't try to, I don't, I never use the effects in uh, Addictive Drummer that often. I try to use the, my own effects in my DAW. Um, but you can do whatever you like. All right, so that one's set up as well. So now we have multi out on two sets of drums. Not so sure I'm into this uh, flexy thing, but whatever. Let's try that one. That sounds a little better. Okay, so there you go. That's what you get. Oh, so that's all three. Uh, let me just show you another trick. Now that I have, as you can see, I have Log uh, Logic Drummer uh, with some audio already here. So if I hit play, Actually, I just loop that whole thing. Right, they're on individual tracks as well. Now, let's just say that I wanted all of this audio to play for all of the drums. Let's do that. Just hold Option, drag up the file, and do the same thing for Superior Drummer. So now we can audition all of it. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to do this. Go all the way there. Okay, now try. All right. And we'll try with this one. Let's see. Go all the way here to addictive drums. There you go. And you can mix these drums together. You could use them individually. It doesn't really matter what you do. You could do all kinds of stuff. Um, but here's all three of them together. All on multi-track. So there you go. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is one of my first uh, Logic Pro tutorials on drums and kind of my workflow. This is nothing that you can't find everywhere else on the Internet. I just started thinking to myself that I should probably take some of the knowledge I've learned from others, you know, that I that I look on YouTube for and learn tricks and tips from them. And then I thought maybe I would, I'd share that with all of you. Um, because I have the tools and the time and, um, yeah, I want to, I want you to learn. Um, so that's it. Stay tuned to other videos. Thanks again.